Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on Troubleshooting Networks, the Wired Kind. Today we're going to talk about common symptoms of problems that you might experience on a wired network, and some tools that you can use to resolve those problems. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. And of course, we're going to begin with common symptoms. The first symptom that we're going to talk about is when you have no connectivity. In that case, the most probable cause is with the NIC, the network interface card. You should check your link lights, cables, and connections to help determine what caused the no connectivity symptom. If you have connectivity, but you only have an APIPA address, then the most likely cause is with your DHCP server. What that means is that if your address begins with 169.254, then you should check to ensure that your DHCP server is functioning properly. If you have limited connectivity, the most likely cause, well, that all depends. If you can't connect to a local device, check the device that you can't connect to. And if you can't connect to other networks, then you need to check the router. Those are causes for limited connectivity. If you only have local connectivity, what that means is that you can't connect outside of your network, then the most likely cause is with the router or your settings. A default gateway is required to reach other networks. So the setting could be wrong on either the router or on your PC, or the router can be offline. If you're experiencing intermittent connectivity, well, then the most likely cause, again, this is a depends. It could be a bad cable, one that has a short in it. It could be a NIC that is about to go down or fail, or it could be a bad port on the switch or router you're going to need to do a little bit more testing to determine the probable cause. If you have an IP conflict, the most probable cause is a misconfigured address. This doesn't happen very often when you're using DHCP, but it's a lot more likely if you're using static IP addressing. In this case, the first PC on is the one that gets to keep the address. The next one on will not be allowed. Now let's talk about some tools that you can use to solve these network problems. The first tool that we're going to talk about is the loopback plug. This is used to check the functionality of your network interface card. It plugs into the NIC, and when you ping, it sends a signal out the NIC and then right back in. It's a great tool to use when you need to troubleshoot a NIC. Now let's talk about some cable tools. And the first one we're going to talk about is a cable tester. Now these are used to test the integrity of the cable. They can tell you whether or not they're wired correctly or if there's a short in the cable. Toner probes also come in handy, especially when you have a cable that has a short. This way you can trace the cable. It injects a signal into the cable and then listens for that signal. Punchdown tools are great for when you need to replace a wire into a punchdown block. These actually place the wires into the block and trim them neatly. Wire strippers will also come in handy because if you need to replace or repair a cable, then you're going to need to strip the jackets off of them. And that brings into play the crimper. These are used to secure the cable into the proper termination ends another useful tool to have. Now let's move on to some software network utility tools that you can use to troubleshoot a network. And the first one we're going to talk about is IP config. Now this is used to review the IP configuration on a given node. It'll give you all the information, depending upon which switch you use in the command, about the network configuration for that node. Ping well, it uses ICMP echo requests to test for basic connectivity between two nodes. It's a great way to tell if you can get from one location to another in a quick manner. Tracer uses ICMP echo requests to map the path between two nodes that are on separate networks. 
It asks for and receives a response from routers and tells you which routers your packet is going through. Netstat is used to identify which applications or network connections are consuming network resources. This allows you to see what's using up the resources and might be causing congestion on your network. NBT stat is used to troubleshoot net BIOS name resolution issues. Net, well, I love this command. It's commonly used to establish a path to a network share. This is what you use to connect to a network share. And sometimes that might be one of your connectivity issues if you can't connect to a network share. Now that concludes this session on troubleshooting networks the wired kind. We talked about some common symptoms of network problems and then some tools that you can use to help troubleshoot, diagnose, and repair those problems. Now on behalf of Pace IT, Thank you for watching this session, and I'm sure we'll do another one real soon.